Have you ever wanted to upgrade your firmware on the TID H3? How about a hacked firmware? Well, today on Soul Studios KO4 DDG Ham Radio, we're going to do exactly that. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. Anyway, let's start this off here. We have the TID H3. Currently, it has the hacked firmware. Turn on here. You can see we have the hack firmware, but we're gonna have to go back to the default or the factory firmware first to show you how to flash it. So let's go ahead and find that here. Gonna go uh, TID H3 firmware, type that in Google. And we need to find walkie talkie software. I do believe it's going to have you log in to download the software. Going kind of slow today. What do we need to do? H3, H6. For H3 unlock. Do, 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 do. What's my password? Alright. Let's hit download. Download your software for you. Do, do, do. Go ahead and open it. Extract it. Make sure your radio is off. Go firmware upgrade, included in the zip files, the firmware you need to reset the factory. Trust the Chinese. They're there for you. Thank you. Coming in. And this type TID. Amps. Maybe it's not called that. Maybe it's called H3. Maybe I don't know where it went. TD. There, TD-H3 underscore IAP. Go ahead and click on that. When you're here, go to COM port. Find out your COM port. So right click on the start menu. Go to device manager. Go to ports. And you'll be right here. That's what it would look like. The COM port 3 for us. Open file. And go back to your doc, uh, downloads. Type that, open up, and you want to hit start. And when it's doing that, you want to hold down the PTT button and turn it on and keep holding on to it. This is going to flash the firmware to your radio and it's called downloading. I don't know if you need to hang on to the PTT button, but I do anyway. 
and hit end turn it off turn it back on and did that go back to default stock it did there's no other menu on there so let's go get the hacked one now keep this program open type in h3 hacked firmware and it would be called Nixure is what it's called Nixure You want to, for Nixure mod, you want to find the oldest one, which is going to be, I believe it's version 7 is the oldest one, 7.9, not oldest, I meant newest, the, the latest one, 7.9, so those three little dots, hit download, save it. Done downloading, go back to this H3, TIDH3 software, your downloads folder, find the hacked one, hit open, and again make sure you're turned off, hit start, hold down the PTT button, turn it on, say downloading, so it's uploading the firmware to the radio. And we're done. So we hit, let go of the button, hit end, turn the radio off, turn it back on, and there you go. Now, if you want to change things in software, we need to go back to the browser. Yeah. And you need to download. TID station. TID station the very end. 37B is the latest one for right now. Actually, is it 37 underscore 1B or B? Uh, 1B would be the newest, I'm sure. See what the newest one you got. S meter. You hit PTT on that and you got your other menus you can go after. Gives you a lot more options. Get out of that, you hit this orange button. Things go a lot slower now that I got a VPN installed. For some reason. I guess it does scans possibly. Anyway, run TID station, memory or com port, minus three. And we must download.net. Stand by.
think we're done in this software. Look at TID station. This software is pretty cool. We can see what it does. You can change. Can you change frequency? Yeah, you change frequency. Does it change it on the radio? Let's go. Does not change it on the radio automatically. Interesting. Then why even have it? Oh, my port offline. Let's go COM port three. Now are we online? We are. Okay, now it's coming live. You gotta connect it, of course. Duh. Let's go um one four seven zero three zero. Oh. My local repeater. There it goes. You could change backlight. I always like backlight longer on this. It goes off too soon. You got all these things you can change. Then, when you come over here, there's everything that's for in my radio. You can get that from going down here, these arrows, upload and download from your radio. Kind of like chirp. You can add a frequency. Same thing in this upload to your radio. Here's a calibration page. If you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't mess with it. Radio frequency for FM radio. And it has a flashing station on this software too, but they don't recommend you using their radio for some reason, their software. It was in the instructions. Anyway. That is how you do a firmware upgrade on the TID H3 and probably any other TID radio that's out there. I wish you luck. And I don't think there's any way to break it because you just keep retrying the firmware until it goes through. But remember, turn the radio off, hit start, turn it back on while holding the PTT button, the top one, and you'll be good to go. This was Jason KO4DDG73, y'all. We'll catch you later. Peace.